right, guys, welcome to Insert, the holiday edition. Um, yeah. This is, uh, we're bringing it back, uh, sort of. It's like we're bringing it back, but it's not. It's new. Insert is going through some changes. As you may have noticed, some of the new videos on the evic.com YouTube channel are a slightly different format. And Insert is going from our traditional question and answer show to being a fully involved show where George and I and the other marketing team members compete in challenges, continue to answer questions, and kind of follow us and our adventures through the airsoft hobby and through our lives here at evic.com. Think of it more as like an open-ended show where we can do whatever we want. This is the holiday edition, since this is the first episode, but we're officially doing this for the holidays. So, uh, Chris... And if and you hate this format, don't worry. The format will you'll change hate the next one every too. week. Yeah. yeah, you'll hate it every week. So anyway, let's go through as we have these gingerbread houses. You can go ahead and start unpacking yours. I oh. will. Safety first, George. It's just a knife, dude. You never know. Okay, well, don't hurt yourself. Anyway, uh, so we have these fancy gingerbread houses, and uh, Matt and I decided that we'd do a throwback to our production in 2013, 2012. What was that? What do you mean? The one We've never done gingerbreads before. Yes, that one where you did a gingerbread house, and then Shades would just constantly destroy it. This is true. I tried to put that out of my mind. Shades will never find me up here. Shades! No, please, I... No! We're going to build these live, and then uh, Ryan said that he's going to make some nice beauty shots outside nice. and make them look all nice for us. We have Thanks, some good Ryan. pictures to remember this by. Dude, look at this. This is like cardboard. You think this is edible? <laughs> it doesn't taste very good. I mean... Okay, well, I have like no plan here. Can so, I borrow the scissors there? No. I'm busy. Oh, dude, get a dude. knife and, and make a garage. Well, it is a garage. <laughs> I have it's to a have bad, a it's a bad looking garage. Well, no, this marshmallow is no good. This one's no good either. Oh no, that. Oh no, I. Dude, I knew that that was gonna bite me in the. What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, can I get a napkin? <laughs> Thanks, Chris. See why I wear safety glasses? Maybe I can make something with the fondants. This marshmallow is not working out. Yeah, actually, you wanna try this cookie cutter stuff? Maybe this is better. What does this do? Oh, don't eat it, dude. It's It's not good. It's kind of minty. Oh my god, the classic, It's a Wonderful Life. Oh no! My, ch my chimney! I mean, like, it's not perfect, but I like yours. Thank There's you. some great elements to it. Thank you. I love the front element, the piece you've got on your roof. It's decorative, out of the box. I like the snow treatment. I, I really, really like the snow you did in the yard, too. I really way. wish that I could have... This chocolate is way better. This is this right here, this frosting. Look at this. It's solid. Well, mostly, mostly solid. Mostly solid. So it held up pretty well. Yeah. Versus this other stuff looks like it's about to fall off the roof. Yeah. Probably will. Well, yep. uh, so anyway, uh, Ryan is offered to take some good pictures of this and good B-roll. And we're going to oh, cool. put it up on insert. We're going to judge them so we can get uh, find out who won. All right. So uh, please enjoy the next uh, segment of uh, very, very cool pictures of these so that you guys can judge them after this video. Hey, Ryan, what are you doing? I thought we are uh... 
supposed to get B-roll with the uh, house. Yeah, if it exploding, right? Like that was the that was the plan. <laughs> for the gingerbread house you guys fell so you can't eat it. This week on Answer, we answer questions from our desks. Changing up the way we do questions is gonna make it a little bit more streamlined. We hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't, let us know. This question comes from the Wise Hawaiian. Hey Insert, I was wondering, what is your thought about someone using a pistol only when starting out? Would you say it's a bad idea or do you think it can work? Well, Wise Hawaiian, in my personal opinion, uh, using a pistol, whether you're starting out or you're a seasoned veteran at Airsoft, can be a great tool in helping you develop um, movement techniques and helping you move more quickly and will give you honestly a, a greater sense of, of action than many times with a rifle especially if you're playing indoors or in an indoor outdoor mixed environment uh, you can get a lot closer to people you can move and maneuver a lot more easily that's not to say that I you know would only shoot pistol if I had the option I'm just saying that uh, it's absolutely a viable option for you if you want to start out using a pistol it's a lot more affordable and it'll give you a better broader sense of the skills required to perform well in airsoft. What's up guys? Uh, we have a question here from uh, Creeper5. Yes, dear insert, two questions. Well, you only answered one question. Helmets on bayonets, or helmet mounted bayonets. The opposite of what I said. Good idea or bad idea? Hmm. Good idea with bad consequences. Meaning, it's a good idea because it's funny, it's a bad idea because of the consequences that might happen. Darth Nobbin, who asks, why aren't airsoft barrels rifled? Well, it really boils down to the shape of the projectile. You know when you throw a football or you shoot a bullet down a barrel, it's mostly cylindrical shape uh, is more stable when it's spinning. And so the rifling on a barrel gets that spinning started, giving you a much more stable flight path, whether it's a football or, um, or a, a bullet. So instead, uh, you treat a BB like you would uh, shooting a basketball or um, hitting a golf ball, in which backspin creates a low pressure air zone pocket above the BB, giving it lift, making it more stable. Uh, and allowing it to shoot farther. And you can apply that backspin to the BB by using a hop-up bucking, which is really just a rubber finger that sits down in your barrel that the BB drags on, like so. So as the BB travels, it drags on that nub and, uh, and gives it backspin. And that backspin is what gives it that lift and stability when it's traveling through the air. There was a company a couple years ago, and by a couple I mean 10, 10 years ago, called uh, Tanio Koba that made what they called a hop twist barrel, which had rifling in it, but it wasn't really rifling that extended into the barrel, it was grooves cut into the barrel. Um, and the idea was that it would create sort of an air cushion um, that would support the BB uh, as it went down the, the barrel. Um, and they worked, but they really only worked at shorter distances and with lower FPS um, ranges. 
So when you, people started playing more outdoor and using that 400 FPS guns and trying to get their range up to 250, 300 feet, the Tanyo Koba barrels became kind of uh, irrelevant. Well guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode of the Not So Round Table. If you like the new format, let us know. Stay tuned for even more shenanigans between George and I, competitions between us and the other marketing team members, and just to follow our general adventures in the world of Airsoft. See you guys next week.